This video is how to retrofit a change machine so that it'll take credit cards, cell phone payments, and RFID cards. What we have here is a NIAX VPOS Touch. We've set it up for 1, 5, 10, and 20, which is similar to putting bills in. So for demonstration purposes here, I have a pass card, and I'm going to select um, $10. Phone. I'm going to take my card now. You'll be able to count the pulses here on this little green LED. This is my simulator here. So I'm touching that, making payment. Authorizing. You're counting the 10 pulses. Thank you. You can set this up to whatever you want, but typically the bill acceptor on a change machine is set in $1 pulses. So you can see here I've got 1, 5, 10, and 20. And this particular customer here, he's using tokens, so you can select token amount on the little message. Now I'm going to show you over here on the screen how to set up the configuration on the NIAX dashboard. It's real easy. First line, I'm showing you know, 100 cents, in other words, a dollar. And then down there, You'll see I have four increments. And then I went from 1, 5, 10, and 20. And I made long pulses just for this video. I set it for 300 milliseconds. When I finish with this video, I'm going to set it back to 100 milliseconds, which is very quick. And then we have a pulse uh, counter. I set that for 1, 2, 3, and 4. And on the very end, I put a little message, select token amount, which shows up on the screen. This makes it very easy to retrofit any kind of change machine that can be configured in pulse mode, meaning it has a coin switch type operation, not MDB, not MDB. If it is a MDB change machine, then you have to go and find out from the manufacturer where the pulse mode connection and how you set up for pulse mode for $1 pulses. So again, looking over here at the screens, you can set this for whatever you want it to say for a message. I set it for select token. It can be put select dollar amount, whatever you want it to be. And of course, this is my little simulator, which is going to give you a demonstration of how it's working. And inside the little NIAX, that yellow cable, it has six lines. Well, we're only going to use four. But normally we send them out so it has six because usually the customer changes their mind and they'll say, hey, wait a minute, can you make it do something other than? So all six lines will be configured when any of these systems get sent out to customers. So this is how you can make a change machine to take not only bills, but also credit cards. For information, contact XCP, 352-678-3021. Thank you for watching this video.